welcome to another episode of Planet Coaster and the official first episode of my first Planet Coaster theory. And uh, now you're probably thinking, as you clicked on this video and you're watching it now, where's Game of the Week? Why is that not online? That's usually online on Saturdays. Uh, no, I've changed things around a bit. Uh, Game of the Week, I'm not planning to continue, unfortunately. And that's simply because of what happened with Planet Coaster last night. I mean, last week, not last night. It did get a lot of views last night, as I'm going to go on to, but yeah. Um, so basically, Alpha 3 came out last Tuesday. I did some videos showcasing it, and they've been incredibly popular. Uh, part 1 of 2 has now got over 100 views. Uh, part 2's nearly got 40, and that's amazing. For a channel as small as mine, I just can't believe it. Uh, usually my videos get around 20 views maximum, I'd say. Uh, and I just thought, this is definitely the way forward. There's no way I can just stop doing Planet Pros for videos. I've got to continue. Uh, so I thought... Um, if you saw the second part of my showcase, we were building the Mac Mega Coaster over there. I said that once I finished it, I would have, I would come back and do a little showcase of it. But I thought, you know what, this would be a great part to start the series in. This was just meant to be me experimenting with Alpha 3, but it's gone down really well. Got a lovely Gersler Euro fighter there. Uh, some people might disagree. I've never ridden one, but apparently they're meant to be quite rough. And we've got the Mac Mega Coaster down here. So, yeah. This is officially, like I said, the first episode of Tropic Sunnyside, this park's called. Um, I know it's not very tropical. Well, it's not necessarily meant to be all beachy and stuff. It's just it's themed set on a tropical island and it's meant to be like sort of a park style and as you see this bit sort of up in the mountains um, if you saw the um, videos showcasing you'll know what's basically going on but if not do go and see them I'd recommend it before watching the rest of this because you'll be able to understand what's going on a bit better um, anyway so for those of you who didn't, anyway, uh, what we did was built this Mac Mega Coaster. So we sort of start here, and then we launch out. We sort of go around this mountain that wasn't here in the last episode because I hadn't built it yet. And I think I said this, but yeah, basically I decided to do all the terrain forming after I finished the actual coaster itself. So then you sort of come down into this ravine and up. And then you go round to the left, sort of, through this mountain. I've done a really good job of camouflaging, which is what I wanted. And, so yeah, it's hard to even see the track now. Because if, you, if you've been on the roller coasters like the Disney mountain ones, you'll know how we build the mountain around the track, especially on Expedition Everest, the Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Uh, I've never rode that ride, but it's a ride I really want to go and ride one day. And I know some people who I think rode it actually. So, yeah, you come down, then you go around this corner into this corkscrew element. And, yeah, it's a bit of an upside down head chop of that because I sort of built sort of the land around the corkscrew. So, yeah, it's going to be some brilliant head choppers on this. Then you sort of go around into the second mud. Uh, it's looking a bit bland around here, but I will do all this out. Uh, build, form the terrain around there, what, which is what we're going to do in this video. You then come around this corner, uh, and I've sort of built all the terrain around there again. You then go over these hills, and then you go into this tunnel here, and then you go up, and yeah, I did the water. That's something we added in Alpha 3. We had a bit of a disaster with the lake uh, last episode, but that's all being fixed now. You come around this cover roller here. This is all new, so even if you watched the last episode, you won't have seen this. So then what I did now is I sort of built sort of 
curved upwards like that. Um, all the terrains form around there again. And then you get a bit of air time down that rock there, then into sort of an air time camel hunt hill. And the terrain again, it's built around the entire thing basically. But yeah, yeah I think I'm going to build the entrance there so you sort of go through that mountain there. And then there's going to be all trees here as you come into this break room. And that's the roller coaster. So I thought what we do now is we, we'll give it a little bit of a ride before we do anything more. So if we um, go into... Camera there. A little bit late. And also, there's a tunnel there that it goes through. I built a tunnel. So as you see, you come up the, out into this corner. And like I said, the terrain is all built around it to make it a bit more immersive. So here we go then into the wind. Like I said, when this is completely finished, there will be a separate POV of this. Like we did with RCT3, we're going to have POVs for the rides. So it's the corkscrew. See what I mean? Look how close the terrain is to that corkscrew. Then go up into that bit of launch there. Bit of air time now. And actually, if you watch the last video, you'll know how enthusiastic I was about this ride. So, yeah, that's the total roll over the lake. And then you go up here and down. suddenly but it doesn't matter um, what I'm going to do now is, and if you watch my planet coaster videos you'll know I like to fast forward time I'm sorry about this guys getting out of this camera uh, you'll know that if you've watched my other videos I talk about how on my screen it doesn't appear the sides, but on the other it does. And actually, I forgot, you can just press uh, escape so we don't have that problem. And I'm just going to speed up time a bit. So, we get back to day again. So, I've done most of the terrain forming already, but still bits to do. So, what we're going to do now is we're basically going to form the terrain around this. Then probably in the next video, we're going to move on to something else. Actually, what we need to do is we need to... Um, the Eurofighter is, is going to be like a treetop sort of roller coaster. So what I need to do actually is I need to place the trees around it. So yeah, I like to camouflage a lot of my rides so that... Well, it's kind of unexpected, it makes it more exciting. I mean, I mean, there's some rides where you don't, there's no need to camouflage all rides, but just some of the rides it's nice to sort of have that theme. I don't think it's necessary for all rides to have it, but yeah, at least some of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look and I'm going to decide where we sort of need to put more of the uh, hills and stuff. Now we're pretty good down here but what I want to do is there's a bit of a gap there so if we go into terrain and we do um, go push the terrain up and then it will be set to the right thing. Yeah that's another good thing as well to keep it so it sets it to the thing that you last had it on that means You've got no trouble if you start building something and then like don't carry on. Um, so it just sort of saves it like that for you so you can carry on when you're next coming to your world. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build a bit more around here, push this bit of terrain up uh, like that. Basically I'm just making it as immersive as possible 
building the terrain around the ride, so it was sort of camouflage, is it? Because this is all themed around the mountains and stuff with bit, so it'd be nice to have it with that theme. I'm just looking at this bit here, if I can do any more. I think I might place, I might to uh, put this one up a bit. And I don't think I'm, I might mention this before, but the terrain editing in this game is so much better than RCT3 by such a long way. And I yeah, I think I did mention this, and I'll mention it again. Um, basically, RCT3 is sort of like pre-made shapes that it sort of creates when you tell it to. Sort of say like create hill, create mountain. And those of you who've played it who are watching this, and I don't know how many of that of you that is actually. I seem to play some quite unique games to my viewers a lot. A lot of my viewers haven't actually seen the games I've played before at RCT3 and stuff. And it, I think that's good in a way that I do some unique games because it makes sort of my videos more interesting in my opinion because people are going to be seeing content that they've not seen before. Like, there's a lot of games that a lot of people play sort of the same as, and I think sometimes it's just nice to have a look at some of the other games that uh, people, unless they've like followed like Frontier, the developers of RCT3 and this, then they might not know about it. And I think it's nice to showcase some of that. I mean, a lot of my viewers obviously know about Dennis Coaster because well, I think that's probably how... I'm sorry if it's a bit wrong, but... Um, I bet a lot of my Planet Coaster viewers, probably Planet Coaster fans, which is good, because if you guys like Planet Coaster, then I'm going to certainly do more of it for you. Showcasing Alpha 3, but not just necessarily that anymore. This is turning into a bit of a well, series now, so going to be having a look at things through Alpha 2 and Alpha 1 as well. And oh, I seem to have done that bit wrong. That's just made that bit worse instead of better. Never mind. We'll soon be able to fix that if we go up. Necessarily matter what this looks like. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm doing, um, I'm basically making it sort of camouflage the ride. So it doesn't matter what like the mountains look like. Because I mean, mountains are natural. Like there's no specific way they look like. They can look anything. That means it doesn't. It doesn't matter if there's like a bit of it wrong or something or it dips down in a bit because I'm basically trying to make this as realistic as possible. And with this, it's not, you can make any shape you want, like we were saying, more sort of a custom terror forming system than RCT3 has. And that's what we need really for something like this. Because it just looks like loads of bits of hill everywhere, and this, and this is sort of not necessarily meant. Well, I suppose it is kind of like hills and mountains, but it's sort of it's sort of kind of meant to look like it's in a valley. But I mean, it's going to look like it's underground, sort of. Like, but it's not. It's on the same level rest of the park. I mean, this ride does not go very high at all. 
I know it's turning night, so we'll just fast forward time a bit so we get to morning. And think after this, because this is meant to be like a mountain, mountainous region. I think that's a good thing to call it. So, um, a bit next to it's going to be like a forest. So, what I'm going to do is near the entrance, because the entrance is near to where the Eurofighter is. So, I'm going to have a bit of trees and stuff sort of around the area to make it sort of fit in a bit better. And basically, I'm just waiting for it to become dead because I've zoomed out really far up. So, we have a look at this now. I think this is looking really good to be honest. There we go, daytime. Now, I've got to try and find back where we were. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be, but I don't think we're that far away. And the reason I'm not putting any mountains there is because that's going to be where the queue line is. That means being a bit tricky for guests to get through if there's mountains everywhere. And whoa, I haven't done a good job at these mountains. I can hardly tell where the ride's supposed to be. We've got another tunnel though. Like this tool, if you just play around with the terrain and stuff, sort of making it, it it sort of naturally creates sort of the thing you want, to be honest. That means you don't necessarily have to be um, working that hard to get what you want. If you just if you just start pushing the terrain up everywhere, it sort of it sort of builds itself around your roller coaster. To be honest, it it pretty much and it's hard to explain unless you have played it. Um, you need to really play to understand what I'm saying is, what I'm trying to get at. Uh, it sort of sorts itself out and and sort of works sort of around the right, so you don't really have any trouble at all getting what you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bit around that track because it does look like that that's been made to the tracks. So I'm going to make it more natural. So yeah, if you watch what I'm doing, I'm I'm not going in a particular area. Um, well, I sort of am, but I'm not like trying to make a shape. What I'm doing here is I'm basically just in, just pushing the terrain sort of around the track. I might need to do. And wow, we could, we could make a little bit of another arch there. I mean, there's going to be a lot of head choppers on this ride. I mean, look at that for a tunnel. So if the track goes through, that is what we want, guys. Um, I'm sorry if you thought we were going to be building a roller coaster. Um, I, I mean, it looks like I haven't, because this is like the start of a new series, because it says like, episode one and start the video but I have this is what I was building in the showcase and I'm sure a lot of you have probably realized by now but I'm just saying it just in case someone's not realized and they're wondering where this has all come from if you want to see me actually building the ride and putting all the inversions in and stuff uh, then go and check out the showcase videos you're probably thinking why didn't you call them the start of the series uh, basically, so it didn't confuse people, I wanted it really to sort of be a, uh, a unique thing. I want, because what I was doing there, this isn't really showcasing out for free because all this was here before it, but what I was doing there is I was building the ride and this type of poster, like the Mac Mega poster style, was added in out for free, so was showcasing sort of that off to be honest so what I was doing there is I decided to build the ride in that episode so that was being showcased so we come out to here and I think I'm going to build a bit of terrain around here because it looks like it comes out into the middle of nowhere so I'm going to build some hills and stuff sort of around the lake 
So if I go like that. I mean, there's not going to be massive mountains, but I just want to sort of build up sort of around the lake a little bit. quite a big lake with it's actually taking more work than I expected and I've got intensity and everything on full so it's literally just it's literally just pulling all this terrain out of the ground it's like the moles making these hills or something it's going that fast and I'm sure you can probably see that but it's still, because this is such a big sort of lake area, it still takes some work to make me. And I'm sure this day-night cycle is faster than R73. Like, it was, it seems like five minutes ago when I speeded it up because it was um, night, but maybe not. push that up a bit more so that goes like that and a bit like that there we go that, I think that looks okay I'm just gonna have a look how much time we got left see right we've got a bit of time left so oh we're just going to continue doing this terrain forming. We're pretty much done now anyway, so what we pretty much do is we'll add all this terrain in and then I think in the next video we'll do, we'll do the trees and stuff and sort of get this open. I might actually, because I've sort of uh, done a lot of work today with the terrain and stuff, I might, I might just do the trees between this in the next video because then we might get a chance to build a roller coaster and start one possibly. And I think something they should do, and I know this is an alpha but I think they should uh, do what they did in RCT3 where you could set it to day night so when it starts to go night it will automatically change back to day again uh, but I'm not sure if they're going to add that or not so if we go around here and Right, it should be it should be back to normal simulation speed now. So we we go here, push this bit up. Basically, now we've just got this last little bit to do. Uh, changing this terrain and stuff. So if we go like that, and then that's going to sort it out. So pretty much just got the airtime hill to do. Got through this really quick, to be honest. And um, what we're actually going to do is right at the end of the video. So in a couple of minutes' time, when we finish doing this, we're going to watch the ride go and then have a look at what it looks like with the new terrain. It's probably you can hardly even see it. Like 
I have to go like right near the station to be able to tell them that it's a uh, thingy. It's uh, it's there because I mean you can see it on the top of some of these hills, but apart from that, then yeah, there's not much showing to be honest. The only thing you can really see is that loop that sort of pokes up like that, but it's supposed to do that. So what we're going to do now is, uh, we're going to ride the ride and then we're going to end the video because uh, there's not much else I wanted to do and the trees and stuff I can do outside of the video. Basically I just wanted for this first video to show you that I've done the ride and and show you how I was going to form the terrain and that's what we've done. No, is it not going to go back to the start? Oh, there was not much to see before that anyway. I hadn't really done anything to that bit of the ride, so I've not missed a lot. So this is pretty much all the terrain, but there's just trees to do now which I'm going to do in the next video, like I said. So we're coming to this corner and this is exactly how I wanted it. All these tunnels and stuff. And then we go over the lake. Like that. And that, that is what I call a roller coaster. So, when I do the next video, I'm also going to do a POV to go with it. So, that sort of showcases the ride with all the trees and stuff because there's going to be a few trees around but where the queue is and there we go back into the station so that's everything i wanted to show you in this video like i said uh thank you for all the support you've given me with planet coaster so far two videos that are already online well there's three all together there's the game of the week one and then there's the two showcasing alpha 3 they've all done really well on the channel they're some of my most popular videos i've ever done and i'm sure this will be the same so thank you for your support thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time bye